hi guys i am chiwendo and in today's tutorial i'll be sharing with you guys how i made this beautiful kimono with a zipper if this is what you're interested in learning please keep on watching and if you're here to hit on the subscribe button please subscribe and let's get started for this tutorial i'll be making use of half yard of satin and two yards of crepe okay so guys i'm going to be drafting out both the front and the back together so i'm going to fold my fabric into four equal parts and then you can see i've gone ahead to use my pins to hold it down on the table now after that you want to mark out your baseline which is equally the shoulder line and on this shoulder line you want to place your tape and mark down to the bust point now i've marked down to my own bust point 10 inches still leaving my tip on the shoulder line i marked down to the 17 inches waistline and then the hip length is 26 inches but i skipped that because i totally forgot so you want to mark down your hip length if it's 25 inches mark it down or if it's 26 mark it down now i went down to the length of my kimono 35 inches and added extra 1.5 inches for hemming allowance now i went ahead to draw my lines across and after that you guys you want to go back to the shoulder point again okay on that shoulder point you want to measure where you want your sleeve length to stop okay because this is a cut together kimono now from the center fold i placed my tape and marked 14 inches okay so you can see i don't have enough fabric that's why i'm making use of 14 inches if if you want it to go more than this that means you should have enough fabric to make it go more than this okay now from this point i mark down to my sleeve opening so i'm using the bust points line okay now on the shoulder line i'm going to come down by one inch because our shoulder spine is not straight and i'm going to connect it into the shoulder line all right and then now i'm going to mark out my neck width and the neck depth for the back now i'm making use of 3.5 inches by one inch okay and i went ahead to connect it and for the front neck depth i'm going to make use of eight inches or nine inches okay so you can see i've marked down to nine inches and i connected it to the neck width now guys after connecting the lines i would move over to the bust point line and divide my bust circumference by four mark it out and i'm going to add one inch for ease and then one inch for sewing allowance making it two inches after that move over to the waistline divide your waist circumference by four mark it out and then add one inch for ease and one inch for sewing allowance now after that this is when i remembered i haven't added the hip line okay so i marked it down and then divided my hip circumference by four mark it down and added two inches for both is allowance and sewing allowance now whatever it is i have on the hip line i'm going to take it down to the hem line so i went ahead to mark it down now from here i'm going to connect all the points together just like you can see me doing like this now guys after connecting all these lines i'm going to go back to the bust point now on the bust point line i would go down by two inches and then connect it back to the armhole depth now this will help eliminate any form of chap curve around this part okay and after that we go ahead and cut it out now as you can see i am cutting through from the back neckline
now that i'm done cutting it out what i'm going to do next is remove all my pins and after removing my pins i'm going to remove the back and then we work on the front now to the front piece i'm going to go ahead and cut out the front neckline And then after that, I'm going to open up the center front. Now you can see that our front is being divided into two. So I'm going to use my chalk to indicate the front and the back. Now, guys, please endeavor to indicate your front and the back, whereby you are using a plain fabric because the front and the back look the same in my own case, okay? Now, guys, after this, I'm going to go ahead and join my shoulders together. And to do that, you can see I have my front and the back piece placed on top of the table. I'm going to make sure that the right sides are facing each other and I'll move over to my sewing machine and stitch using half an inch. Now, if you notice, I have joined the shoulders together and I've also weaved the rough edges. Now, this is what we have. And the next thing I want to do is go ahead and locate the middle part of my neckline. So I'm going to fold it like this and then use my scissors to notch the center. Now, after notching the center, I'm going to now use my tape. And then what I'm going to do is from this center mark, I'm going to measure down to the hemline, okay? Now, after measuring down to the hemline, whatever it is that I have, I'm going to times it by two, okay? Because you need to measure the other side. But I've just measured one part, and what I had was. 41 inches so now to cut out my plain fabric which i'm going to use for the front collar i'm going to cut out 82 inches in length i hope you guys understand so now as you can see on top of the table i folded my satin into two and from the center fold i went ahead to marking three inches now i marked in three inches because i need half an inch to join this to the crepe okay which is my actual kimono now after that i'm going to go ahead and cut it out and then i would cut another one okay because i need a length of 82 inches i hope you guys understand so i'm going to be joining this in the middle to have a length of 82 inches now after that i'm going to also add a paper stay to this to make it very firm okay because i need it to be strong and you guys as you can see i have already done all of that and that is what i have on top of my table so i'm going to open it up as you can see and you can see i have my middle line right there so this middle line i'm going to align it with the middle of my neckline now guys to pin this up i'm going to ensure that the collar is being pinned on the right side of my kimono so i've pinned in the middle and i'm going to take it down to one end of the hemline and then also come back to take the other part to the other end okay now after this i'm going to go stitch it on my sewing machine using half an inch and also with the rough edges as you can see i've done that i'm equally going to weave the edges of my sleeve so you guys as you can see here is my sleeve and i'm going to go hem it using half an inch okay after that i will equally turn the side seam and turn the hemline and you guys here is our kimono so now it's time for us to fix in the zipper and to do this i'm going to from the neckline measure down to where i want the zipper to start okay now 
I'm going to from the neck measure down to nine inches. That is how low I want my neckline, and that is where I want my zipper to start from. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and fix in my zipper right from the downside, like you guys know how our zipper comes. Okay, you have to zip from up to the down, but this time around, you have to zip from the down to the up. Okay, so you can see the way I placed in my zipper, and I'm going to go just match the kimono on top of the zipper. Okay. Remember, there is nothing like zipper allowance right here. So I'm going to go match it on top of the zip. Now, if you notice, the zipper is longer. So I'm going to cut it down to the length of my kimono. And you guys, this is the final look of our kimono. I hope you guys find this tutorial helpful. If you do, don't forget to hit on the like button, share this particular video so that more people can get to see it and subscribe if you haven't done yet. I will see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye.